Let's take a look at how to navigate Safari in iOS 15. When you open Safari, the tab bar is at the bottom of your screen. It contains your address bar and other tools. You'll notice that the tab bar moves out of the way as you scroll through a website. To bring it back, just tap the bottom of your screen. To access other open tabs, you can swipe left or right on the tab bar. To change the location of the address bar from the bottom of your screen to the top, tap the reader button and tap Show Top Address Bar. To change it back, tap the reader button and tap Show Bottom Tab Bar. If you need to refresh a page, pull down from the top of the page or tap the refresh button. To view all of your open tabs, just tap the Tabs button in the bottom right corner of the screen. To close a tab, tap the X in the top right corner of the tab or swipe it to the left. You can jump to an open tab by tapping it. If you touch and hold the Bookmarks button in the toolbar, you'll see options to add a bookmark for all open tabs or just your current tab, or to add the page to your reading list. When you touch and hold the Tabs button, You'll have several options to manage your tabs, from creating new ones to closing them and more. Tap New Private Tab to open one. When using Private Browsing, tap the Tabs button to see your open private browsing tabs. To turn off Private Browsing, tap the Private button, then tap Tabs, and you'll switch to your non-private tabs. Now let's take a look at how to share. Just open a website, then in the toolbar at the bottom of your screen, tap the Share button and choose an option. And that's the basics of navigating Safari in iOS 15. Where you go is up to you. When you're using FaceTime or a supported video conferencing app, you can open Control Center to change microphone and camera modes. Here's how. With FaceTime open, swipe to open Control Center. Tap the Mic Mode button in the top right corner. You can choose voice isolation to block out background sounds and highlight your voice, or wide spectrum to pick up all the sound around you. Tap the screen to go back to Control Center. Now tap the Video Effect button in the top left corner, and tap the Portrait button to turn on Portrait Mode. If your iPad supports center stage, you can turn that on to keep yourself centered in the frame. Tap to go back to Control Center and then swipe up to return to FaceTime more options for FaceTime. It's easy to move from Android to iOS. Here's how to transfer your photos, contacts, messages, and more. Before you start, your Android device should have Wi-Fi turned on, and both your devices should be plugged into power. You should also double check that you have enough space on your iPhone for the content you're transferring over. It's best not to finish setting up your iPhone before you begin this process. If you've already set it up, you'll need to erase it and start over. If you choose not to erase it, you can move your content over manually. All right, let's get started. First, follow the on-screen instructions on your iPhone to start setting it up. On the Apps and Data screen on your iPhone, tap Move Data from Android. If you haven't done so already, you'll need to install the Move to iOS app on your Android device. You can download the Move to iOS app from Google Play or scan the QR code on your iPhone by tapping the QR code button in the top right corner of your screen. On your iPhone, tap Continue. A six-digit or 10-digit code will appear. On your Android device, open the Move to iOS app and tap Continue. If you agree to the terms and conditions, tap Agree, then tap Continue. On your Android device, enter the code displayed on your iPhone. Tap Continue. Then tap Connect. Now, just wait until the Transfer Data screen appears on your Android device and select the content that you want to transfer. You can move your Google account, messages, contacts, and other things like accessibility and display settings. Now, tap Continue. Even if your Android device says the process is complete, leave both your devices alone until the loading bar on your iPhone finishes. Depending on how much content you're moving, this process can take a little while. When the loading bar on your iPhone finishes, tap Done on your Android device. Next, on your iPhone, tap Continue Setting Up iPhone and follow the on-screen steps to finish setup. It's that simple.
Now your content should be transferred, and all of your important information is right where you expect it. To learn more about your iPhone, from useful tips to help new iPhone, here's how to use iCloud to transfer your apps and data from your old iPhone and easily set up your new device. In Settings on your old iPhone, tap Get Started in the Get Ready for Your New iPhone section. Or if you don't see this prompt, go to Settings, tap General, then tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Continue the process to back up your device. If you don't have enough iCloud storage to back up, you can use temporary iCloud storage to back up your apps and data. Tap Continue if you'd like to use it. You'll be given as much extra temporary iCloud storage as you need to move apps and data to your new iPhone for 21 days. If you haven't set up your new iPhone within 21 days of starting your iCloud backup, you can tap Keep My Backup Longer in Settings to get an additional 21 days before your backup is deleted. Read the next screen and tap Move All App Data with iCloud. If you tap Don't Move Data for These Apps, the apps that don't currently use iCloud to back up will not have their data transferred to your new iPhone. Now, tap Done to begin backing up. The backup will continue in the background while you use your device. This process can take a while to complete. When the backup completes, you'll be ready to set up your new iPhone. And if you would like to keep your temporary backup and continue backing up your iPhone with iCloud, subscribe to iCloud Plus. To transfer data to your new iPhone, turn on your new iPhone and follow the on-screen instructions until you see the Quick Start screen. To set up a new iPhone from an iCloud backup, choose Set Up Manually. Connect to Wi-Fi and activate your iPhone. You can also learn more about how your data is managed and set up Face ID on the next few screens. Next, create a passcode for your device. On the Apps and Data screen, choose Restore from iCloud Backup. Enter your Apple ID and password. Then follow the prompts to sign in. Review and agree to the terms and conditions. You may see a few backup options to restore from. Choose the backup from your old iPhone. You'll see a preview of the data that's part of the backup you selected. Tap Continue or Customize Settings. Continue the setup process on the next few screens to configure Apple Pay and choose if you'd like to share audio recordings to help improve Siri and dictation. Make sure your device stays connected to Wi-Fi during the restore process. The time it takes varies based on the size of the backup and your network speed. Once the progress bar is complete, you can start using your iPhone. Content like apps, photos, music, and other data will continue to restore in the background. Set up a new iPhone with iCloud.